All right, guys, how's it going? Well, David Ornstein has surfaced in America. Murica, that's right. You've got to watch what these journalists say in America and what they say in the UK, and that it can really, really differ. Honestly, it really can. Especially with Gwilym Balaguer when he's talking in Spain versus talking in England, when he's trying to appeal to, say, a Spanish audience or the supporters of one club in Spain and a different, you know, club in England, for example. He sometimes is a bit different, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, he surfaced in America. We, we know what's going on. we got fucking eyes everywhere, don't we, guys? Anyway, speaking of overnight, and we like him. David Olsen, he's great, man. He's one of the only journalists you should pay attention to concerning Liverpool Football Club matters. Him and Born Again Joyce, right? Him... Uh, in my opinion, is more connected to the ownership of Liverpool Football Club, whereas Born Again Joyce, in my opinion, is connected to the people running the club on a day-to-day -day basis at Anfield. They do cross over, um, but that tends to be what I think. Uh, I would say, in fairness, he uh, he has both. Do you know what I mean? I think he has both. The ownership and the day-to-day -day running, whereas I think Joyce is more just the day-to-day -day running. I know you're probably thinking, what does it matter? It really does matter, all right? Because it depends when they're making certain claims about certain topics, whether to really give it some attention and consideration, okay? So I just want to mention a couple of things to you that he said about providing an update regarding the managerial situation at Liverpool. Just some little bullet points, and then you think about that. Otherwise, we'll be here all day if we go over and over and over again. Uh, he again mentioned Roberto De Zerbi doesn't appear to be the right profile for Liverpool Football Club. We know he said that before. With Ruben Amorim, he said uh, Ruben Amorim is not necessarily a shoo-in for the Liverpool job or the top option, right? And I think that's very interesting uh, that he's saying that. And I imagine someone like, you know, the big cheese, John Henry, someone like that, you know, maybe not John, but certainly someone from the FSG side of things, saying that to him he's not he's not just picking it from out of the blue do you know what i mean uh and we have seen right both him and born again joyce make references to other candidates not deserve or out like that even though he's second favorite um tiago motta yeah julian nagelsman uh thomas tuchel all right that tuchel i don't know how to pronounce his name right those, but them to me, I think they're the fallbacks. Nagelsmann now, maybe not so much. A week ago, I'd have said, yeah, Nagelsmann would probably be the one you could imagine, but it really sounds like buying a stepping up him. His odds have gone out in the in the Liverpool running. Um, we don't just pay attention to the betting odds, right? They can be wrong. People bet with their with their heart instead of their head sometimes, especially with football betting. So it's not a good one. To you know, to, basically, you don't just listen to them, um, and. Uh, I think Motta, for example, at Bologna, uh, heavily linked with Juventus, but you know, and he probably will go there. But would he go there if Liverpool came knocking? Thomas Tuchel is. I, I there's just something about him in the background. His name's cropped up a few times. Um, but again, I think these are fallback options. So maybe we don't need to worry too much about it. But what he's saying there is Amarim is not necessarily a shoe in for the Liverpool job. Or the top option. We know he's not the only option, but I don't. I just don't see anyone else really compete with him at the moment. Do you? Let's correct. This is what I mean. We'll be here all day if we sit here pondering it all. Uh, he said that uh, Liverpool Football Club, the people making the decisions, uh, you know, collectively in terms of uh, the you know the recruitment of the new manager, will not be afraid to be brave. I didn't like that bit to be honest with you. As soon as he said that, they won't, be, you know, they won't be afraid to be brave, to do something that they want to do. Straight away, I thought De Zerbi, but he did say, like, De Zerbi does not um, appear to fit the profile. Um, and, you know, they won't be afraid to be brave and they uh, won't be afraid to think outside the obvious candidates. That's a very telling statement, I think. Uh, the obvious candidates. Who are the obvious candidates? Ruben Amarin, Julian Nagelsmann. And then you're getting into that territory, I think, of Mossa and Tuchel, people like that. And I think that's what it means. Now, another name we've seen uh, mentioned was uh, Nico Kovac. Kovac. Is it Kovac? Kovac. Um, which I haven't I haven't touched on because I, I've had a couple of chilled days, to be honest with you. Right, I have. And I've enjoyed just like 
like, I, I do stuff every day on the website, right? But just to, every day for, for what seems like eternity, we seem to be churning out dozens of videos. And the last few days, I just thought, you know what, I just need to step back a little bit. But I will make a video about him after this to explain where that rumour came from, if you missed it. All right. But I do believe, Ornstein, that I... <laughs> I think Ruben Amram is the leading candidate. I do, but I don't believe that Liverpool are just going, our life depends on him. I don't believe that they're doing that, guys. I, it, You know what I mean? I think they're just like, yeah, we really like him. We want to try and make that happen. But we have got these others that we can consider if we need to look at it. So I think you need to pay attention to name dropping, name checking by Ornstein and Born Again Joyce. Ornstein in this interview did not mention... Uh, you know, who could be thought of outside the obvious candidates, which I think is a good sign, to be honest with you. I'm maybe not explaining myself very well. I think if you watch my videos, I think you'll understand, I think. So these are things I want you to consider, right? Because I really paid attention to this when he said this. Um, Focus on what's going on oh, in the back. <clears throat> when he was referencing other candidates, right, thinking outside the box, not obvious candidates, he said, you know, maybe someone along the lines of a manager that likes to play high-tempo football with a lot of energy, an exciting brand of football, someone who can connect with the supporters that the supporters would like, you know, that's got personality, yeah? Um, and this is a really, really, really interesting bit for me it's the first time i've heard this mentioned if i'm if i'm wrong please do tell me he said someone with a good track record when it comes to injuries because we've seen a lot of injuries haven't we? people are like what the fuck so it, it's like someone internally has said you know we need to sort this out as well do you know what i mean someone with a good track record when it comes to injuries and player availability you know basically the, the availability and someone who can improve the players now, we know that fits Ruben Amarim, uh, and we know that he's got his pal there to do with all the sports science and fitness and things like that. You see, for me, I I, I, I still think Ruben Amarim is the main man. I do. Um, and our journalist... You see, well, he's one of our journalists, right? Concerned Liverpool Football Club. And he's, he's commenting, like, on American TV, right? He's just basically providing... The same news, he's not really saying anything new. I don't, well, he is, there's a couple of things there, but what I mean is, he's not put, brought forward. Uh, and this manager is one of those, you know, that could be under consider. He's not doing that. So, what, shut up, Remy. So, while, while they're not name dropping and name checking people, I think that's a good sign. So, he's saying little new things about like sports injury, you know, like we need someone, a manager with a good track record, maybe with injuries and stuff. That's, that's new, I think. I've not heard that view. Um, but he's not then going, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, he's, he's, he is you know, a, a top candidate, but not the only candidate. He didn't then follow that up by saying, because there's such and such, Mozza, or do you know what I mean? Tuchel, whatever. He didn't say that. And I think that's a good thing. I do. I do. My advice to you, right, is to listen out for him and Born Again Joyce to see if they start mentioning any other names again. They've mentioned them already. They've mentioned Mozza and stuff like that. Um, I haven't read anything to do with Mossar since the weekend, so you know I'm really actually to probably educate myself with what the latest is with him before recording this video. Anyway, the reason for this video is to tell you that David Ornstein's been saying something. He has said some new things, but not that would suggest we're going after a different manager. And maybe you can listen to those points I just gave you. You know, the high tempo, connect with the fans, a good injury record. Do you see any of those managers that we've mentioned in this video? Have you got knowledge of any of those managers that fit in those things? Like, I don't know, for example. I know we've got some sporting fans watching my videos. All right, guys, listen, what's Ruben Amram's injury situation? Like, what's it there? Do you get a lot of injuries at sporting or what? What, you all right? Some of you guys, you're, you've got more time maybe than me and a bit more switched on with stuff. Maybe you can go and find out what, you know, you know, there's websites that list injuries and stuff. Maybe you can do that and help people in the comments section. Always read the comments. Not just after a video goes live, because, you know, the longer a video has been on a couple of days, you'll get more comments, obviously. Always go back to the comments. Seriously, you, it's amazing how much information you'll find. There's some really bright people in there, guys. Brighter than me, that is for sure. So, uh, 
Reuben Amram not eschewing. I, 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 I don't want you to be alarmed by that if you're wanting Ruben Amarin. Because I think what Liverpool are saying is, we would like this guy as a manager. We think this is the right man. Yeah, we, we, we think this is a good direction to go in. But we're Liverpool football. We're not just going to go, right, we want you. You're the answer to everything. You're not going to do that, are you? I don't want my club to do that. I want them to go, yeah, we're like, yeah, it's a good manager, yeah. But we're also looking at other good fucking managers as well. It's a bit like me and my fucking dating life, you know what I mean? I'm a single man. You know what I mean? I've got more matches made than Guy Fawkes, right? But I'm like, hey, hang on a minute, she's all right, I mean, she's got a great set. Of... Do you know what I mean? It's all right. Well, I want to know what she's like when it comes to doing Yorkshire puddings and that. Not just going for the first one or one that looks, you know what I'm saying, guys? Okay, now that's why I'm taking my time. So my process, I'm thinking outside the box, do you know what I mean? It's the fucking same thing, isn't it? I'm taking my time. And I'll make the right decision, just like Liverpool Football Club will. I don't like Robert De Zerbe being second favourite still. I, don't, I know, but he's, he did come out, didn't he? And he did say, uh, he doesn't, f no, he said think. He said think. I don't think he fits the profile for Liverpool Football Club. We are, we are rotten, aren't we, really? Could be the best fucking manager in the world, you know, waiting for the chance to shine, but we're like, oh, we don't like the sound of that. Now I want Ruben Amarin. I backed him in January. I backed him in fucking January. But I, do you know what I mean? No, no, no news is good news. He's just he's just surfacing on US television to earn a few quid. Do you know what I mean? Give them like they know what he's fucking on about. You know, he's just giving them an update on what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But there was key parts in there, guys, and I'm going to leave you with them again. I won't stay here for much longer. Just bear with me. Uh, not necessarily assuring for the job or the top option. Won't be afraid to be brave. Liverpool won't be afraid to be brave or think outside the obvious candidates. High tempo, energy, exciting brand of football. Someone who can connect with the supporters. Someone with a good track record when it comes to injuries and player availability. Someone who can improve players. Think about that, all right? Right, I've got some more bits to do. Uh, I'll speak to you in a bit. If you appreciate the video, please give me a thumbs up. That's all I ask, right? If you want to be extra nice, leave me a comment. That'd be really cool because the comments are the most important bit. Uh, if you want to get me a coffee or a beer, hit the super thanks. Read the video description, join my newsletter, please. Uh, and also connect with me on social media. So all, all the info's in the video description. Just scroll down and go, yeah, do that, do that now, fuck that. Do you know what I mean? All right, see you in a bit. All right.